Welcome back to Culture Clash Reactions. It's me, Fen. It's me, Akasha. And happy Halloween to everyone. Cheers. Happy Halloween to everybody. We should really be at a house party like normal people, but we decided to stay in and make videos instead. Sounds like us. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, before we get started, uh, first of all, uh, this, that's, this, is my idea. this is our idea of a costume, by the way. Yeah. If you can't um, tell, they're cat ears. Someone please comment on Akasha's um, Halloween, aesthetic. Halloween aesthetics because she's proper proud of that. I mean, I didn't even notice it till about 10 Ooh, minutes in. Oh, I forgot about this. Hold on. Oh, what does it do? Oh, excuse me. Not that you can see that. Before we get started, I want to show it's you guys something. I went to her family's house and I carved pumpkins for the first oh time my in gosh. my life. If okay. you are on our Instagram, you saw the picture I posted already. Now, I don't know what's whether, whether because remember, I am half Arab, so I grew up in, in, in Libya as well as the UK, both simultaneously. But the problem is, is that we never did that, obviously. But then I thought about, I don't think I've ever done it in the UK, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it in the UK either, carving pumpkins. But Halloween is a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. It's not as big as here, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone par carve, well, maybe it's because I'm a northerner. Maybe they're doing it south, down south, like, hello, mummy, I've, I've uh, carved a pumpkin. We're a bit rough up north, babe. Anyway. You make fun of people. First time ever that I've part carved a pumpkin. Before you show it, the, I had no idea what he was carving. Mine's messed up, by the way. So, she didn't want to show that, us. She didn't want to no, show us. No, it wasn't that bad, but it's rotting. His is not. He said it's simple yet effective. I went, remember, first time ever, simple yet effective. Ta -da. Look at, oh, hang on. Isn't that good? I am well chuffed with that. I don't know if you can see that properly. Turn it. There you go. Isn't that good? Is the light on inside? Babe, I'm, yeah, it is on. You okay. can't just see it. There's too much light. In okay. I am, well, I am well chuffed with that. All right. Anyway, it's time for another video that you've all requested. I can't remember how many times after we did our last football ones, which I obviously, we had a lot of fun yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one, kind of similar along the same route. Um, 10 most vile oh. <laughs> football chants. Again, Never seen them. I've probably heard some of them at some point, but I haven't seen this video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk to you, but I see your glasses. All right. Should Let's we take, take them off? off? Let's take them off. Um, they were fun, though. So, yeah. Um, should we get into it? Yeah. I'll have to do some explaining, obviously, when, you know, yeah. as per. Sorry. Anyway, Kay. let's get into it. What's the significance to celery? Is that like somebody's name? I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I know so, they didn't just randomly pick know. celery. They, or maybe they did. They, maybe they did randomly pick celery. Okay. Somebody might be able to help in the comments. Not sure. but It I has just, to be somebody's name. But it like. mu must be. But I, I, I All thought right. that was catchy though. That was 10. I wonder what the fuck is at one. All right. <laughs> Context. These are Manchester City fans. Remember okay. last time I taught you Manchester City, Manchester United are the two Manchester clubs. Yes. Obviously rivalry forever. Um, Manchester United had an incredible manager, coach, for almost 30 years. Won all the... T I mean, just they were unbeatable for so long. Yeah. Alex Ferguson was the name okay. um, of the manager. So Fergie. Yeah, Fergie is it for short. So Man City fans are singing, we're having a party when okay. Fergie dies. <laughs> Which by I wonder if this was when he because he got sick as well he had a brain hemorrhage so I wonder if they were <gasps> singing this around oh, that damn. time that would be extra savage. <laughs> I bet it was when he was sick. Not nice. Damn. Solid. You've heard this one. Yeah. <laughs> I 
um we've obviously seen that one from a previous yeah, video yeah. a lot of people in the comments said apparently park loved um jason park the player played for man united apparently loved that chant thought it was funny oh legend another they reason can't beat him. yeah he was great anyway he was a great player <laughs> go on the oh. tune Right, straight away, for those who don't know, Newcastle fan, how are the tune? Okay. Um, <laughs> Cristiano, go, yeah. <laughs> Look at the way we've paused there. He's like in the middle of fucking um, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. You know, he um, was, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Accused. Accused, thank you. Such a moron. Uh, he was accused of uh, raping a girl. All oh, turned really? out to be bollocks. But obviously football fans don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know? <laughs> If we you get really shit. famous, something yeah, like that happens. Care. So yeah. Newcastle fans are singing to the United fans, to Cristiano, and also we're on a bender. Do you know what a bender means? Uh, isn't that like drinking? Yeah. So, but a bender's like you know, like uh, on the Hangover when they all went out that night and they all just fucking it was just drugs and yeah, alcohol yeah. and strip. That's a bender. You're going all yeah, yeah. night for I don't know a how bender, many yeah. days. We use um, that. So the Geordie boys are on a bender. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well done lads excellent excellent work <laughs> they actually sound mad on that one don't they yeah they do uh once again as with passion Remember a, a while back on another video, I told you Man United and Arsenal were the top two teams for a while back, especially the yeah. early 2000s. Robin Van Persie, remember I told you he yes. left one of them for the join the, the rivals. So Arsenal fans are just letting them know what they think of him. Okay. <laughs> oh, Robin, <laughs> There's another one. don't know the context of that i wonder if oh it might have been actually back in the day i think he also got done for something i was about to say to it says girl, she said was, no so it's yeah, probably something, something like that to do with i think he i wonder how the players feel on the court on, i mean on the court on the pitch when they're part of the job isn't it? i know it's be. i know but i, I wonder if they're like Oh, again or if sometimes it like gets to him you know it probably does at first when it's your first time having something like that happen but like cristiano ronaldo's at this point is probably just like well i can't remember which other player said that when they are that like like robin you're a cunt who was it who said it? i can't remember now can't... he said that's actually love that's right. actually love right because you know like we loved you and you fucking betrayed us uh -huh. you know if it was a shitty player that no one gave a fuck they wouldn't about care. fucking you know yeah Newcastle Titus Bramble, if anyone remembers that twice. <laughs> Who? Titus. Sorry, okay. inside joke with the All Geordies. Right. Um, oh. Yeah, oh. then you wouldn't give a fuck if it went to the club. You'd be like, you know what, mate, later. Yeah. Uh, so I think, I can't remember which player said that, but it is love. Okay. In a weird way. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Right, context again. I noticed why you guys say pedophile and we say pedophile because you guys spell it differently. Oh, really? Yeah, you guys actually spell it pedophile. Do you guys not we put don't. an A in it? No. Well, there you go. That's, That's why. No, it's fine. That's why we been... always fight about that. We not have. that we talk about pedophiles yeah. all the time, but like. But I've always said it's you pedophile. You said pedophile, yeah. Now it makes sense. Anyway, continue. Sorry. Okay, context. Adam Johnson. Babe, here's a bit of trivia for you. Who's Newcastle's main rival? Come on, you know this. Liverpool. Oh, she let us down, lads. She Wait, it's not. <laughs> I've taught you this. Give me a hint. Come on, start with an S. They're the only two proper. Sunderland. <laughs> Sunder Fuck. Sunderland. Yeah, it's um, Sunderland. Sunderland is our rivals. Yeah, because Mike Ashley, we don't like him. No, he's the. Uh, but that's something else, babe. He's the okay, owner. Sorry, but I only know like four know, names. I'm supposed you. to not yeah, like. It's fine. Okay. Back to Adam Johnson. He was probably for a little while Sunderland's best player, I would say. Sunderland is shy, by the way. But of course, that's. You that. have to say that. No, they're shy. Okay. Um, Adam Johnson was. Um, 
uh, probably their best player for a little while. Okay. And he actually got done for basically, I don't know if, if he had sex with her, but anyway, he was dating Something a 15 year old. She oh. was 15. So in England, obviously the age of consent is 16, 16. which is still young. That's what it is. And he too. was like mid twenties or something. So right. she was 15. I don't know if, I, I, I'm going to say alleged in case Adam Johnson comes after us at Culture Class Reactions. But I think he did get, yeah, well he went, well actually no, he went down for it. He, he got um, suspended from football. And I think he even went to jail. So that's oh. what it's about. You know if they go to jail that there was something to back yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? That's you you what can I mean. accuse anybody, but when people do time for well, it. Well, I don't okay. know if it was just sexual text or if he actually had sex it with her. It was like physical with yeah, her. Yeah, I don't know, but let's listen well, to either this one. brilliant chant. Yeah, honestly, if he did that, I'm, I'll, I'm right in with him. Oh my god, I'm tapping my phone. <laughs> Oh no, this one. Fuck off, Adam Johnson. You're going down for nonsense. What's nonsense? Uh, nonsense like a slang word for like a... pedophilic behavior. Uh, okay. Like they call you a nonce. So what was what? Why did um, you know Matthew go down nonsense? for? He was nonsense. So there you go. Let's start again. He obviously beat a woman. Stan Collymore in his day was a pretty decent player, um, but uh, demons mental issues i yeah. think he was an alcoholic for a while then he went then there was a presenter in the uk i don't even know why she was famous i think she was a tv presenter or rika johnson all i remember about her that she was swedish and famous but i can't remember why she was famous mm -hmm. i think a tv presenter they were dating he beat the fuck out of her and you know went to jail or whatever and now he wears like a, a dickhead hat all the time anyway they're just taking the okay. piss out of him. it's brilliant though it's a okay. great chant he was a glorious bastard, and then a Teamsy play fight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the guy in the back jumping. Brilliant. Damn. Creative. Okay, context again. Um, Carlos Te Man Manchester United, Manchester City. Mm -hmm. Carlos Tevez left Manchester United, a city with a team that were starting to rise. They're yeah. now they're now the top team. But this is in that transition period where United were going down and City were going up. Yeah. Carlos Tevez left Man United for Man City. Mm -hmm. Big no no. Um, and basically left them for money because Man City are just like owned by right. like billionaires. Right. And yes, I know Newcastle are as well. Before somebody fucking. <laughs> um, <laughs> angry we fucking love it i don't care anyone says anyway that's the context of this and he's from argentina if that helps who's that twat from argentina let's go okay. <laughs> not exactly true You've heard brass? plenty about John Terry. I don't actually... Someone's going to have to help us with that. She's a brass. I'm guessing she's got some kind of slapper. Yeah, some kind of slut. slapper. Sorry. Okay. So now we're going to... Sorry, whore. slapper's a whore. Yeah, okay. she's some kind of whore. But you know, John Terry, I don't know how many times I'm about to tell you about yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. He's a great defender, but just not a popular dude. Yeah. Playing and hearing that. I know. A whole stadium talking about your mom. <laughs> Alright, number one. <laughs> Do 
Do you have any idea what's going on? No. Okay. You know the song, Ole, Ole, yeah, Ole, yeah. feeling hot, hot, hot. Yeah. They changed it too. <laughs> Do you know who Margaret Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, you must have heard the name. Yeah. She was the first female prime minister. Right. She was really, I don't know what the right word, she was a nightmare, right? Really? Yeah, in in the case of she really, I don't again, this is a football. When fun. was this? How long? This ago? was in the eighties at some point. I think mid to late eighties. Okay. Um, she really just choked the north, like big cities like Newcastle, Liverpool, uh, things like that. She was just very cutthroat with the north. And there was just a big division in the country, north south division. Um, and anyway, let's just say it's safe to say she's not popular in the north, and then she died. So this is how Liverpool fans went about it. <laughs> It's like a good time. Isn't Losing it. it. <laughs> this guy's got beer all over him. That's so happy. So it's fair to say she wasn't very popular. Yeah. So anyway, what do we think of uh, Top Vile? I mean, I bet there's even, I bet you there's even worse ones. I'm actually personally kind of proud and chuffed that two or three of them were Newcastle ones. Really? How were the lads? I just didn't think they were that vile. I mean, there was a couple that were like, okay. Well, yeah. But like the top ones, I didn't think were that vile. You've also got used to the way I talk and I'm watching football, I think. I guess. I get really dark, man. Yeah. So I like, think that's, that's just a Tuesday. <laughs> that's a Tuesday at our house. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe. But I think general Americans would be quite... If, imagine if American went to like a football ground and they were talking about you're a pedophile. She put a lettuce, celery up her cunt. I don't right. know what. Lick your mum's ass for a quid. Celery up. That would be a bit shocking. It would a, be. You know, at a local MLS game. Um, but it'd be a bit of a laugh. Yeah, it would. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm still desperate to take you to a game anyway. Hey, one day. Sh- one day. And then I'll know all the chance. And then you you have to learn, uh, fuck off, Adam uh, Johnson. Yeah. You're going down for... Nonsin. Nonsin. Very good. You learned a new word. Brilliant. Um, Glad we did that. Yeah. Um, I love how, by the way, corrupt you're becoming. You're like, mm, not that vile. Fuck. Well, no, I'm not trying well, to. I'm, we got all these people recommend this. I'm not going to be like, oh, that was not. But I'm just saying, like, especially I know that. Well, number... now we've done three or four of these as well. Exactly. So. But right. I know that number one was obviously because of the, because she was. <laughs> she was the prime minister. Yeah. Think about that. Like, you know, I mean, I know. Like, but to America... me, vile is like the ones about like celery and stuff. Right. That's like, <laughs> those should have been up there. That's my like, what I think is vile. But... Right. But anyway. They were good, though. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. As per usual, do not forget to like. (laughs) That was me being spooky. Sorry about the mental yank. Um, (laughs) Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Instagram at Culture Clash Reactions. Um, Any more suggestions? We actually enjoy the sports ones. Yeah, yeah, those Um, are fun. I got one other one, but I think that's it for now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. For the time being, how are the tune? Happy Halloween. Bye.